friends, it is Wednesday, the 15th of February, and it's already noon. <laughs> I have just been moving so slow this morning. I'm not a fast mover in the mornings anyway, and this morning I just I overslept, which was the first problem, and then I've just been puttering around, not getting much done, haven't felt like picking up the camera. Um, I've done my outside chores already. I was going to take the camera out, but you guys have seen me do that a thousand times. And I got sucked into watching some videos on YouTube. One particular video that I, I listen to, or a YouTuber I listen to a lot is, um, his channel name is Pinball Preparedness. And I think some of you might watch him as well but he's been talking about this Ohio train derailment and the chances that the water can be um, highly toxic and highly contaminated for miles around the area, especially if you live near the Ohio River. And so that's kind of gotten me thinking. <laughs> um, I've thought about getting a Berkey system or something similar in the past. Um, just have never like pulled the trigger on it. And now I'm really starting to think more strongly about it. Um, Scott looked on the Berkey website and they're completely sold out. So I'm thinking a lot of people have been thinking the same thing. So um, now we're kind of looking into a reverse osmosis system that hooks right to our faucet. Um, but I don't know what that filters out. I know the Berkey claim to filter out the vinyl chloride, which is the highly toxic stuff that got uh, dumped into the water from that train. I don't know if reverse osmosis does that or not, but I know they're not cheap, but we're really contemplating doing that. Um, and I would even be willing to water my outside animals with it. I mean, especially if we had the reverse osmosis where we could just get it through the faucet. Um, because uh, reports are chickens are dying and fish are dying. So it's something to be watching. But anyway, that's gotten me totally like sidetracked into that kind of stuff so I haven't gotten anything done in the house and so now I've got to, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some lunch and then after I eat I'll bring it back and we will get busy doing something in this house the counter cleaned off the ever-present issue that I have to deal with on a weekly basis I am going to work on some of these vegetables and get them processed and ready to eat so that they're handy and right there in the refrigerator and so when I want a salad or whatever I don't feel defeated because the lettuce isn't clean or you know so I'm gonna get the carrots, carrots diced up and the turnips, and I'm gonna wash the blueberries and the sugar snap peas, and I'm gonna dice up that lettuce.
This video was taken about 5.30 in the evening. I was standing at my kitchen window um, looking out um, when I was fixing supper and I noticed this huge herd of deer in our backyard. Now I put a food block out there for them because the deer do frequent our backyard quite often but this is the first time I've seen such a huge herd. There were 10 deer um, now there's not all 10 of them are not in this shot, but there were 10 deer out there. Some of them had walked past the blue building, so that's why you can't see them. But they are just the most magnificent creatures. I know if we ever got hungry enough, we would, we would hunt them. But I'm so glad at this point in my life we don't, don't have to do that because it would be very hard for me to... Well, I, I wouldn't be able to kill one, but it would be hard for me to even eat one, knowing they are just so, so beautiful. Good morning friends it is the next day it is Thursday and I am sorry I did not film much yesterday I just wasn't it wasn't doing much it's been one of those weeks where it's just kind of blah did my grocery shopping on Tuesday which was an all-day <laughs> all-day business and I just haven't felt like doing a whole lot after that I'm just feeling lazy and I don't know if you can see Oh, no, you can't see, but it is super gloomy outside. That's one of the reasons why the lighting is so bad, but I'm sitting on my, my comfy couch. Just got out of the shower. My hair is still wet, but anyway, um, the other thing yesterday, I was very, like, absorbed into looking into water uh, purifying systems, um, I was messaging back and forth with Scott. He was at work. He works on a computer. So <laughs> during his lunch break, he was looking online for different things. And I think I mentioned yesterday that we were looking at the Berkey water systems. And on their website, they were completely sold out of every, every system. They have multiple different kinds of systems. Every system was sold out. So I'm thinking that there are a lot of people that are thinking the way I am after that Ohio train derailment catastrophe, because that's what it is. It's an absolute catastrophe, what's going on. Um, I think there's a lot of people that have decided it's time to get a water filtration system. So, um, Scott was a little bit like, uh, he was looking at the Berkeys, and even if they'd had him in stock, he's like, we'd have to keep it on the counter, and we don't have a lot of counter space, plus um, having to fill it all the time from the tap would get monotonous, and I don't know if they sold, like, freestanding, like, stands put it on. I don't know, but even if they did, there's no, pl we don't have any place in our kitchen and dining room, and that would be the logical place to keep it. Um, we just did not have space for it. So we decided to go with a reverse osmosis system. I got it off of Amazon, I ordered it yesterday. It was not cheap, it's like over $300 for it. Um, and then I ordered uh, some replacement filters and the filters were $50 or 42, something like that. Um, but I was able to put the filters on my subscribe and save, and I was able to save 10% on them, so. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna probably, because, I don't know if you've ever used a reverse osmosis system or if you have one, it has a really thin faucet so the water doesn't come out really fast like with your ordinary um, faucet comes out kind of slow 
when, when I was a teenager, we lived in South Dakota for a while and they had a reverse osmosis system in the house we lived in. And I remember it, you know, it didn't drip out, but it was just a small stream because the faucet that it comes out of is super thin, skinny, kind of like a straw almost, maybe a little bit bigger than that. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting some, I've still got some gallon jugs that we used when we were camping for water and they were, they're empty. And I was gonna use them for camping, but I'm thinking that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use them for um, water storage, fill them with the reverse osmosis water and maybe keep a jug in the refrigerator and keep a couple of jugs um, ready to go for the dogs to fill the dog water bowl. And I'm even thinking about maybe uh, watering my laying hens and our outside dogs with that water. There's nothing we can do about the ducks. They just take too much water. So I'm hoping that they'll be okay I don't think we're in the direct line of any of that contamination, but we're just doing this um, as a precaution. We'd been thinking about doing this for a while anyway, and this just made us go ahead and just get it done. So anyway, that is what we're, we're gonna do. And after we, he gets the um, system all hooked up and we've used it for a little while, if we like it, then I will tell you and I will put a link to it in the description box. I don't want to uh, link it today when we haven't even used it. So uh, I'm gonna wait because we may hate it. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, um, that's what consumed a lot of my time yesterday. Um, I also spent a good deal of time looking for my lost jeans and I think, I think I, I don't know how it could have happened, but I think they might have gotten donated. I can't in my wildest imaginations figure out that, how that could have happened because I know I would not have put them in the um, Goodwill bag, but I've spent enough time, I've spent enough time looking for them and I'm gonna move on, <laughs> I'm moving on. Um, anyway, what else do I want to talk to you about? Oh, another thing that I was spending, I spent a lot of time contemplating things yesterday, and that's why it just would not have made a good video, me sitting here thinking. <laughs> we are planning to remodel our bedroom. We're going to be putting new flooring in all three bedrooms, but our bedroom, mine and Scott's bedroom, I wanna do a bit more than just put flooring in. Olivia already painted her walls a couple of years ago. Travis, he doesn't care whether his walls are painted or not, and they're fine. But in my room, I want to repaint the walls. And I'm really contemplating what color to do it. I asked Scott his opinion, and he has no opinion. He doesn't care. <laughs> One way or the other, doesn't care. So I'm like, in one way, that's good because I can do what I want. But on the other hand, I'm getting no help. <laughs> so I, I asked my kids and they were throwing out all these ridiculous suggestions like chartreuse and, and you know, bright pink and black. And I'm like, and apparently there's this shade of black that like instantly absorbs every bit of light or something like that. And they're like wanting, doing, saying, suggesting we paint our room that color. They were all just giving me a hard time. None of it was serious. But I, so I said, well, fine, I'll ask my YouTube friends their opinion. So I have two colors in mind. And the, a shade of green and a shade of blue. And I'm really leaning toward the green. And the reason why I'm not just saying I'm going to do the green is because I tend to paint, I tend to use green a lot. Before we redid my kitchen, it was done in green. My entire basement is done in green. 
my bathroom is a shade of green, which is fine. I like that, but I'm just like, am I stuck in a rut? But I'm really leaning towards the green, not only because my bathroom is a, is done in green, but, and it's like a connected, you know, bath, bath bedroom, bathroom, but because I just really like green. So anyway, I if I can find the two shades that I'm thinking about, I will put them up here for you guys to look at, and you guys can give me your opinion on if you think I should go with the green or if I should go with the blue. Um, the flooring is going to be vinyl, um, not linoleum, but kind of like linoleum. I've never, I've seen it, but I've never used it before. It's like an interlocking vinyl sheeting or planking or whatever. And it's going to be, um, wood. It's going to look like a wood floor, but it's going to be vinyl, a vinyl wood floor. And it's going to be, if I can get what I want, it's going to be kind of like an aged barn siding type wood. Oliver, it's all right. It's all right, buddy. Olivia's outside doing. Oh, you are wet. Oh, my goodness gracious. You're soaking wet. That's why you're not outside. It's raining. Ugh. Yuck. Dog wet on my hands. Olivia's out doing chores. Um, so that's going to be the flooring. And then I'm thinking about just getting some white curtains to go in there. And we were really thinking about um, getting new furniture. But I've been looking around and we love our mattress. We have a queen size mattress and it's inside a queen size waterbed frame. We've had this bed for over 25 years and it's just dated and it's big and it's bulky but if we got rid of it then all of the storage that we use on the top of the headboard would be gone we don't have room well just let me let me take you in there and let me show you what i'm talking about my room is a mess forewarned i have not fixed my bed it's a mess in there but i want to show you what i'm talking about so here's my bedroom. That is Scott's closet. This is just a side table that I got a bunch of junk on, which when we redo my room, that's gonna go. We're gonna get rid of that and find some other way to organize all that stuff. And on here are things like, because I don't have room in my kitchen, my uh, food processor, my ice machine, my crock pot, but in my bedroom. But anyway, here's the headboard. And the reason why we don't wanna get rid of it is because we, you know, even though it's completely messy right now, we use this headboard for a lot of things. Uh, Scott's alarm clock, that is an air purifier slash noisemaker. We use it mostly for a noisemaker at night. And then we've got my pile of books there and an uh, essential oil diffuser and my salt lamp, Scott's bedside lamp. Those are all on there. And if we got rid of this headboard and just had a regular, like, headboard, we'd have to have bedside tables, which would be fine on this side, but I wouldn't be able to have one on my side of the bed because Scott's door opens, barely clears my, that's my little light. I use this light at night um, when, I, when I read. His door barely clears it. So I told Scott yesterday that one of the things I was pondering is why don't we just keep the furniture we have and I will give this headboard a makeover. So what I'm thinking about doing, well I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint it white. I'm gonna probably take the doors off of those two little cubbies and if I can do away with those cubbies altogether, these little things, which I don't think I'll be able to, but take this take this door off because this glass dates it um, and maybe put some shelves in there I don't know 
and then I'm going to get some wood grain uh, that looks like planking, um, peel and stick like wallpaper or shelf liner, and I'm going to cover the mirror. So the whole bed headboard will be white with like a wood, it'll look like a wood slat shiplap um, back, backing back there. Probably even put it back in the side those two cubbies and then like I said I'm not sure what I'm going to do about these little door things here but I think that will look really nice um, with the farm faux farm uh, wood flooring the um, white curtains and then I'm thinking about going with green that's where I'm leaning the green walls and then on this wall here I'm, this is where I want to do my gallery wall of uh, bird and floral um, artwork. I'm going to get rid of all everything that's on the walls. I'm going to get rid of um, those are pictures of my babies. I'm not going to get rid of them, but I will put them somewhere else. There's Travis when he was six months old. Olivia, she was six months old. And then I can't remember, I think she was three and he was five in those pictures, something like that. But I'm gonna take these off the walls and put them somewhere else. But anyway, if you guys can give me some suggestions on what to do with these little cubby hole areas, once I take the doors off, I would love that. Give me those suggestions. And give me your opinion on whether I should go with green or blue for the walls. And the other reason why we don't want to get rid of this bed is that it's got um, drawers. There's six drawers on this side and six drawers on the other side. This is Scott's side and that's my side on, over there. And if we got rid of this bed, then we'd have to get another dresser. And again, we do not have room in here for another dresser. So what it really boils down to is we've got to make do with what we've got and just update it a little bit so that it doesn't look so 1980s. <laughs> All right, that is enough chit chat. I do want to get some things done today and I don't want this um, video to be boring. Um, Olivia's out doing chores. Um, she was supposed to go do her cleaning job today, but the people called and they're not feeling well. So she had that postponed till next week. And so it kind of, kind of threw our schedule off a little bit, um, or, or what we were expecting to do today. But anyway, um, we need to go over to Dollar General and pick up a few things. So we're going to go do that. Then I'll share that haul with you. And then we are gonna get busy. I have some apples that are getting wrinkly and I need to use them. So I'm gonna look through my apple recipe book and we'll bake something with apples. So we are back and it's not much of a haul, but it was $90 worth, can you believe it? I think the majority of that came from the toilet paper and the paper towels. <laughs> So yeah, I got some more of each, and then I got a bag of ice, a small bag of ice, and then some laundry soap. This was $9 just in itself. Olivia uh, bought these little uh, fairies. She wants to do her, she's doing like cottage core uh, theme in her bedroom, and she thought these were super cute, so she picked up this one and this one. She said she wants to incorporate rabbits into her decor as well, specifically brown rabbits. So she got those. Then I picked up some granola bars for Scott. I I had swore I was going to just start, start making granola bars, but I need to set a specific day aside to do that kind of stuff, and I just, I'm just not organized in that way, I guess. So I got him two of the dark chocolate, and then I bought these for him because he loves blueberries and I thought he might like those as well and then we were completely out of toothpaste so I got a two pack value pack and we need some more toothbrushes as well and Scott really likes the reach brand so 
we got those. Then I just like to stock up on these things whenever we're in town. We do use a lot of sinus medicine, so picked those up. Then I picked up some more night light bulbs. I prefer the clear ones, but they didn't have any, so I just got the frosted. And then I love this foaming glass cleaner, so picked up another thing of that. And I am in love with the Dawn Power Wash and my um, bottle that I have is almost all gone. So I had to stock back up on that. That was it. That's what $90 buys you these days. All right, I'm gonna get myself some, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna get myself some lunch because it is that time. And then we're gonna get busy in the kitchen. This is gonna be a chit chat, busy in the kitchen vlog this time. Does anyone else geek out on the weather like I do? This is the Ryan Hall y'all channel, and I really like him. He's a meteorologist, and he will go live whenever there's any bad weather. And apparently there's some tornado warnings and stuff going on. Or Right now, I guess there's no tornado warnings, but there's possibility of tornado warnings. But there's flooding. You can't really see it. There's too much of a glare, but there's some river. There's a river that's really high. Anyway, he goes live when these things happen, these weather events happen. And he stays live for hours. And I just kind of like to put it on and listen and have it on in the background when I'm doing different things. So that's what's going to be on my TV today. Ryan Hall, y'all, on YouTube. So earlier I said I had some apples I need to use up, and I do, and I have this little booklet. It's from the country, it's not focusing very well because the lighting's bad. The Country Cooking Recipe Collection, all prize-winning apple recipes. And I am going to try this apple walnut cake. I will let you take a screenshot of that if you want to. That's the ingredients. And there are the directions. Let's go make this cake. Olivia decided to change up those little fairies that she bought at Dollar General. She had decided she was going to do that when she first bought them. She really liked them, but she wasn't 100% uh, thrilled with the way they were painted. She didn't like the, way the color of their clothing and their faces weren't quite right. So she decided to get out her paints and, and fix them up. I would include a picture of the finished project in the video, but she didn't get it done. She's still working on them, but... Um, if I think about it, I'll try to remember to take pictures of them for next week's vlog. But she, um, yeah, she does a really good job. I told her when she bought them that not only was she getting a cute little fairy statue, but she was getting a art project to work on at the same time. So it was a two for one. The recipe said to shred the apples with the skins on, but I couldn't do that because, like I said, these apples were getting really wrinkly, and I didn't think the peelings would be very uh, appetizing, so I just decided to go ahead and just peel them, and then instead of trying to shred up four cups of apples, which is what the recipe called for, I decided to go ahead and just chop them in my food processor, and it worked out really well. I decided to go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice into the apples. The recipe didn't call for it, but I just thought it would keep them from getting brown really fast, and it did help. I mean, they did get a little bit brown, but it wasn't too bad. And then I also discovered that I was trying to chop up way too many apples at the same time, so I had to end up taking some out and doing them in batches, and it worked out really well. Here I am still trying to um, get it all done with all of them and at the same time and I didn't want to make them into applesauce that was the thing I mean I could have kept fussing with it and maybe add a little liquid or whatever but then I would have wound up with applesauce and that is not what I wanted the recipe called for shredded uh, apples and I ended up making it chopped apples 
and it worked out fantastic. So if you want to save a little bit of time and you don't want to have to shred a bunch of apples up, go ahead and use your food processor because it does work. You may have noticed on the recipe that it had uh, directions on how to make homemade frosting and I contemplated it for a little bit but then I thought you know what <laughs> I've been super lazy for the last couple of days and I didn't want to mess up any more dishes that was the main thing I just didn't want to dirty up any more dishes so I thought you know go through all that make frosting from scratch or just go get some vanilla frosting out of the cupboard <laughs> and so I chose the second option and it worked out just fine. Today the FedEx came and when I opened up the door I saw this huge box on the deck and I'm like what on earth is this humongous box and it had Travis's name on it well Travis's birthday is Saturday and he decided to buy himself a birthday present so I was gonna share with you what he uh, purchased for himself uh, he doesn't spend money often but when he does he buys really good stuff, really nice things. So uh, just wait and see what he bought for himself. See, it's a sword replica, a re replica sword of the sword that um, Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, it was Aragorn's sword.
All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a different vlog. Didn't really do a whole lot. It was just a lot of like chit chatting and kind of sharing our lives with you, which I guess what vlogs are is sharing life and life is not always exciting and full of fun things. Sometimes it's, it's pondering and just doing the ordinary things. Uh, anyways, if, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And oh, by the way, that cake was delicious. I highly recommend you try it. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.